This is the future. Good morning, my old and new Cribsonians, and welcome back to my channel. And if you are a first time viewer, please do me the favor of hitting that subscribe button and subscribing to this channel, hitting the bell icon so that you can get notified of any further uploads, and giving this video a like when you are done. So today we are back with Fire Marshal, and this will be part number 8. And it's almost our last video. This is the second last video, which means next week will be the final one. So what are we discussing this week? We are going to be discussing inspections of the fire hose box, fire hydrants and hose reels. Those are the last things that you're going to inspect. That's part of your responsibility. Some places or some workplaces has got fire hose boxes that are situated near or right next to a fire hydrant. Especially like on the mine where I'm working or industries, you will find these boxes. Now inside these boxes, there's normally two 38 millimeter size fire hoses and one straight nozzle. Now if it comes with donkey peel, that means it almost works the same as what you would find on your garden hose. And the difference is this nozzle is not adjustable. It's giving you one solid straight stream. So what do you inspect on a fire hose box? First thing to inspect is to see if the key is there. You'll see in the middle there's a breakable glass and behind that glass is normally a key. That key is used to open up the box. Now if you're a fire marshal and you get issued with a key, one key fits all the boxes. So you don't need a whole bunch of different keys, just one key. If the glass is broken or the key is missing, there might be a possibility that someone has tampered with the box. Some of the hoses might be missing, maybe the, no uh, the nozzle might, be, might not be there. So it's very important to make sure that nobody has tampered with the box. Then you would like to look at the general condition of the box. Like I said previously, has, has it been broken into? Is it bent? Is it rusted? Look at the inspection sticker and make sure it's been signed off monthly to make sure that somebody has inspected it, if not you yourself. Next up, hose reels. Hose reels can be found in any kind of office setting, even outside buildings. It's labeled with signs like this one. And a fire hose reel has to be inspected monthly. So what do you look for? First of all, look at the general condition of it. It's like a normal garden hose, so just check if the hose itself is still good, not perished, or it's not leaking any water, there's no physical damage that you can see. Also look at the nozzle, make sure it's not broken. A fire hose reel always has to be sealed, because it's not supposed to be used for general cleaning, it's only supposed to be used for emergencies. Look at the inspection sticker and see if it's within its service date and if it has been signed off. If there's any damage or it's not valid anymore, then you have to contact your service provider that you are using to come and inspect, service, replace or repair the fire hose. Fire hydrants. Now this is a nice one. Straightforward. Nothing difficult to inspect on a fire hydrant. First of all, look at the general condition of the body. Is it cracked? Is there water leaking from the bottom? You know, just look at what it looks like. Inspect the release pin and make sure it's working correctly. They are normally spring loaded, so when you pull it out, it should pop right back in. It is to prevent a hose from popping out while under pressure. Inspect the valve wheel on top. Firstly, make sure it's there because I know in where we are, where I'm working, sometimes there is no valve wheel on top and sometimes the fire department will have a barring key or will take a key with them and not leave it there to prevent people from tampering with it but if you're lucky enough to work for a place where there are valve wheels make sure it's there and connected to the hydrant always open up the hydrant first of all to see if there is actually water on the hydrant and that it's not dry secondly to flush out all garbage Bees, you know some people in town, they would walk and say, ah, I've got a packet of chips, I've just finished it. There's a dustbin close by, or they're too lazy to walk to the bloody but dustbin, and then they'll push it inside the hydrant. To clean out the hydrant, flush it. You'll be killing two birds with one stone by flushing it, 
checking that there's water inside and it is actually working. Lastly, always check for the Morris washer. The washer has to be there, otherwise your hose will leak exactly where it connects into the hydrant. And it will not leak a little bit, I promise you. You'll all be wet. The washer has to be there. Once you've completed all these checks, then you can connect your hose to the hydrant. So it's a quick inspection that you have to do every time before you connect the hose to the hydrant. So that's that. Let's do a quick summary. Fire hose box. Check general condition. Check that the key is behind the glass. See that glass or box is not broken. See inspection sticker and make sure it is signed off monthly. Fire hose reel. Check the general condition. Check the hose for any damage. Check the nozzle for any damage. Check the nozzle is sealed. Check service date on sticker and make sure it is signed off monthly. Fire hydrants. Check general condition of body. Check release pin. Check the valve wheel. Flush the hydrant to clear out and to see if there is water. And check for the Morris washer. So next week for our final video, we will be discussing how to connect a hose to the hydrant, what is the proper way of rolling down a hose and to roll it back up, and what are some things to keep in mind when working with fire hoses. So guys, we're almost at the end. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel. You can hit the bell icon to get notified of the last video when it gets loaded up. And then, uh, whatever you guys are doing, keep it safe. Cheers. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. Give me a thumbs up because it will really help out this channel. And feel free to drop a comment. Then something new for you all, there's now a Facebook page, so feel free to follow me on my Facebook group. We will be discussing behind the scene features and videos that I have done. Also, don't forget to go to my website at www.cripzone.co.za where you can go straight to my podcast if you want to by clicking on the podcast icon you'll be taken straight to the anchor podcast page where i do my podcast and remember when you go to my youtube page there will be a place where you can subscribe to my channel um, and remember if you have any comments please feel free to drop me an email and on my youtube front page there is now a paypal donation button where you can feel free to donate to this channel to help it grow and to help to support me thanks for watching and until next time cheers